All right, it's Monday, 26th of October, six weeks out before we shoot Abe, and I'm just in the middle of a nice active recovery hike, eight mile hike with my 20 pound vest on. I always have my water with me, very, very important. But I just wanted to stop and reflect and talk about giving back and how important that is, regardless of where you are in life. Last night, I had the absolute honor and privilege to go to a charity event in Beverly Hills courtesy of Ty Lopez. Thank you very much, Ty, for the invite. I really appreciate it. Now, the Chris Paul Family Foundation was a charity that I attended last night. And for those of you who don't know, especially you English folk out there, Chris Paul is a very, very successful basketball player. And it was just an incredible night. It's called the Celebrity Server Night, where Chris Paul organises um, the wait staff of famous people. The majority were... Um, from the Clippers basketball team. Just absolutely incredible and such a humbling experience to see all these successful people just taking the time out to give back. And it's just so, so important, guys. And I know some of you there will be sat there saying, yeah, it's all right for them because they're where they are. No, no, it's not. They're where they are because they've constantly been giving back throughout their entire careers you know and the amount of money that was raised for such brilliant causes is just mind-blowing but what i'm saying is it doesn't matter where you are in life and what level i'm nowhere near those guys in terms of success financially and and career wise but there's other ways that you can you can help charities and help your community grow for instance my community back at home in middlesbrough Flats Lane, there's an, it's an unbelievable place for children and adults, a brilliant assault course for exercising. And every Tuesday they have a volunteer group where you can donate your time to clean up the place. You just turn up, they give you a pair of overalls, they give you some gloves and you help out. And even if it's for an hour, you give him back. And I'm telling you now, time is the most valuable, valuable commodity we have because it's short and giving your time is just as important if not more important than giving away money you know donate your time if you can donate your time you're doing the world a massive massive favor and don't be one of these people who who goes around and goes oh yeah it's all right for them da, 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 da. these people are so grounded what i saw last night was a hell of a lot of successful people who are incredibly humble and grateful for where they are so grateful that they they create these charities to help people have a chance at a beautiful better life at an opportunity that was granted to them through their hard work and tenacity you can be that person that, like i'm sick of hearing oh bill gates is so wealthy that if he gave everyone in england a million pounds he'd still be a billionaire guys you've got two arms two legs and you're healthy stop being like stop being weak you know it he gives away so much money i mean the guy's almost killed malaria and it, he's he's gone to say that he's gonna give when he passes like pretty much 100 percent of his wealth to charities to people who can't help themselves people from war-torn countries you know who don't have a chance in life if you're living in my hometown or england or america and you've got two arms two legs and your health which is your number one thing you've got no excuses guys you've got no excuses help yourself you know help yourself and then help others like these guys and be ambitious be so ambitious don't be embarrassed about that if money is your thing yeah, go be a multi-millionaire and be proud of wanting to be that. But then help others who can, who don't have the opportunities you have to reach those goals. You know, that's what it's all about. Giving back, giving your time. And I'll be talking a lot more about that because me personally, I don't do enough. I don't do enough. I, And that's going to change in the near future. I have started doing a lot more for charity and things, but it's going to change in the new, near future and I'll be speaking about that a lot more. With these videos and things, I'm hoping that this is this is the beginning of, of helping. But when it comes to charity, the Lackey Upper Foundation back at home, 
um, which my sister has founded in honor of my brother. The Lamp Foundation here in LA, which I, I'm meeting with them on the 4th of November to start volunteering my time to help out vulnerable adults, homeless adults with severe mental illnesses. And that's what it's all about. Just start, guys, and your success will be all the more sweet to be able to help other people. But don't sit there and go, oh, Bill Gates, it's all right for them. Because then you just, you just, all you're ever gonna do is sit there and do nothing. If you've got two arms, two legs, and a healthy body, you have no excuses. I have no excuses. It's all on me and it's all on you. And we can make this world a better place. What I saw last night inspired me so much that Man, I just had to stop and share this with you guys and I will be putting some pictures up on Instagram and Facebook from the event last night just to give you a little insight on what these guys are doing and what they're achieving and how they're changing people's lives on a daily basis. It's incredible. And the one thing Chris Paul said, which resonated with me and I'm going to end on this, you may have had a tough start in life, but it doesn't mean that you have to have a rough finish. And I want to end it on there. You may have had a tough start in life, but it doesn't mean you have to have a rough finish. Get up, take action, do something, guys. And, and the world is your oyster. Once again, you may have had a tough start in life, but it doesn't mean you have to have a rough finish. Have a great week, guys. There's going to be a lot more updates on Abe this week and the coming weeks. We've got 12 days left, 12 days to raise as much capital as we can to make the best film we can to shine a light on such such a, a, an issue that is, is very, very close to my heart, very, very close, mental illness and homelessness. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for all the contributions we've had so far. And yes, just, just keep following, keep sharing, keep comment. And I'd love to hear your, your reactions and comments to this, this video. And also, what you've done to, to change this, to, to chip in. I'd love to hear from my local area, Middlesbrough, to, who, anyone who lives near Flats Lane, to hear if they've gone up and given an hour at a time to, to donate. I'd love to hear if people have got in touch with my sister, Sue Upple. You can find her on Facebook and discuss about the Lackey, Lackey Upple Foundation. And just, just do it, guys. Get out there, meet people, help people, and lift each other up together. Success means nothing if you have no one to share it with. So like, share and comment. And remember, one more time, because repetition is the key to success. You may have had a tough start in life, but it doesn't mean you have to have a rough finish. Catch you later, guys.